So in this video, I'm going to talk about why you should not give a shit about really anything that's going on right now, and how to not give a shit about anything that's going on right now. Uh, but hope you guys have a great weekend. It is, I believe, Tuesday today. I have lost track of days, months, and time for the most part. Sad but true. Why wouldn't you? Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go into why you shouldn't give a shit about what's going on right now. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, there's a, a, a lot of stuff going on right now. And it's crazy stuff, right? Like, it's not normal stuff. I was talking to a, I was ta <laughs> I was talking to a firefighter earlier. And uh, he was like, dude, we're, we're, we're living in fictional times. There's no way this is real. And I was, I didn't go fully into it with him, but I was sitting here thinking in my head, you don't know how true what you just said was. Because this this is all fiction. It's uh it's it's beautiful and poetic if you really get it. And this is why you shouldn't give a shit or care about anything else out there, other than you. Because if you can, can this is the thing. People wanna people wanna tell you how to fix the world, and people wanna tell you how how you should be living, and people wanna tell you all these other things, and they can't even control themselves. I want you to fully understand that. It's hard to take advice. It's it. it, it it's hard to take advice from hypocritical people. It really is. It's hard to take advice from people who do not practice what they preach. It's hard to take advice from people who let anger control them, who let opinions control them, who let any other outside influence control their emotions, their reactions, and their uh, way of being. It, it really is. and it's You can get to a point where not that much bothers you because you realize why do I care? It always works out in the end. Um, it's not played out fully yet. Just because I'm stressed out in this moment, does that mean it's going to fuck my whole day up or fuck my whole week up or fuck my whole month up? A lot of people let that shit happen. I used to be one of them. It's hard to do. You shouldn't want to do it. But right now, there's a... Uh, what happened in the... I've been off here for like a week except for one video I made uh, due to just feeling completely shitty. Uh, uh, just being brutally honest, I felt shitty shitty as shit but i feel better so good news um another thing if any of you guys are out there or own anything whether it's uh drugs nutri uh supplemental shit uh things you think you have to have to get by through the day i'm not being mean i'm not calling you out but don't be a pussy you can kick the shit in two weeks two weeks is gonna suck but wh what's worth what's worth more to you the rest of your life or the two weeks you're gonna spend suffering uh, that's my best advice. So let's get into this. What's happened since I've been on here, uh, except for that one video. We have factories blowing up all over the world. We have Kamala Harris getting introduced as Joe Biden's running mate. We have Donald Trump saying, fuck the Senate. We're going to do what's right. Do to him. I'm not taking sides, but I thought it was pretty comical. Um, I got to give a shout out to Trump for that one. I mean, I'm, I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm not a Trump fan, really. Um, not a Republican, but that dude's got some balls. Whether you like him or not, whether you whatever you think about him or don't think about him, the dude's got some balls, and that's 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 funny to me. Um, you got all these people out here. Uh, what else has came to light? More of the mass debate and no mass debate. More of the you, you need to wear goggles now. Um, the vaccines are out in Russia. How the fuck did Russia come up with a vaccine before China or the U.S.? It's mind-blowing to me. Um, you got all this pedophile scandals out there. You got Black Lives Matter that has turned into a terrorist organization. Um, <laughs> it's, it's crazy, right? Like, if you didn't understand and realize this is how it plays out, it has to play out this way. It's, it's perfect. You would sit and think the world's gone mad, and it is fictional. I mean, fuck. What was there? There was murder hornets, and then there was uh, those uh, insects that could lay some shit in your brain and turn you into a zombie or whatever, dude. Aliens. Um, supposedly, the uh, Pentagon released documentation showing that there has been unidentified flying objects not from this world brought to light. And nobody even blinked an eye. I mean, this pedophile thing's pretty huge and you don't hear that many people talking about it that's pretty odd um and shout out to alex jones man i mean fuck alex jones called this shit years ago i thought alex jones was a madman i thought he was crazy and about a year ago i noticed that 
a lot of this shit he says is, has came true. So this right here just... Alex Jones might be a fucking genius. He might be a fucking retarded savant. And, and no, I, no offense. I didn't mean any offense with that word. But same with Trump. Trump and Alex Jones might be fucking idiot savants. They really might be. I mean, it's I, I don't know what I don't know how else to call it at this point. But they're idiot savants. Um. So with all this being said, now how do you overlook this? You realize, hey, can you really control it? Can you? Now. Again, there's a difference between you voicing your opinion and you getting your opinion out there and you thinking and doing what you say is right or wrong. But the problem is most people don't really think it through. They see stupid shit on Facebook. They don't know whether it's real or not. They see stupid shit on the news. They don't know if it's real or not. And they base their whole fucking opinions and ideology off of that and what other people surround them says about it. And I'm just sitting here telling you, who gives a fuck? You should not take my opinion higher than yours. You shouldn't take your mom's opinion higher than yours. You shouldn't take your dad's opinion higher than yours. You shouldn't take your fiance or significant other's opinion higher than yours. Your opinion's where the buck stops at, my friend. So step back and really think, are these my ideas and opinions, or am I feeding into the bullshit that's going on outside? And, and you'll see very clearly that, one, you can't control everything. Two, you're just feeding yourself full of anger and fear by going along with the stupid shit, right? Like, don't do it. And three, which is the bigger one, is see through the illusion. What is the illusion? The illusion of eternity. Where are you at right now? Really, if you're not watching my other video, I want you to really think about where you're at right now. You're in heaven. You're in literal heaven. Like, God damn, that's, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. It's, it, it, it's, it, it's beautiful. There's no other way you can call it other than beautiful. You're, you're in heaven. Think about this. And I'll explain it again. I explained it in my other video, but I'll break it down in this one in case some of you guys didn't watch my other video. God is one. God is singular. God has to break himself down uh, within itself to s s make some semblance of reality. Because if not, it's just you. And if it's just you, then that fucking sucks. And if it's not just you creating reality, then you're in a void. And, well, that gets boring. So here we are. That's the game of life. It's the play of life. It's the game of eternity. It's the game of God. So, you're God, you're in heaven, and everyone else you talk to is yourself. Like, why should we not unite at this point? Um, you can figure this shit out if you don't believe me. Uh, it's all an illusion. It really is what it all is. So, why would you want to, why would you want to get so upset and hurt and butthurt and aggravated and angry and, and so bitter and poison yourself. You're really poisoning yourself with hatred and anger over petty shit. Overthinking overthinking things is the root cause of of suffering. Really think about this and contemplate this. Now is it bad just giving some examples. Let's just say that you got laid off from work. And let's just say that your mom got diagnosed with cancer. Because these happened to me not that long ago. Um, a business that I was help running, we got shut down for a few months due to some um, due to some very unprofessional behavior from people on the business, and myself included. I'll fully admit I did some shit I shouldn't have done. So we got shut down for a while. And around the same time that this happened, I found out my mom had stage 4 colon cancer. And... Uh, I could have easily let that fuck my whole year and life up for a pretty extended amount of time. I could have been bitter and angry and sad and and hateful, um, but I wasn't. Uh, did it bother me for a little bit? I'd be lying to you if I told you it didn't. It bothered me for probably, I'm going to say maybe a month. I'll let it take a month of my life, which I regret doing now. My mom's doing good. She's doing better. Um, the business is still going, but I'm not that big of a part of it anymore just due to some uh, personal, conf I guess, personal conflict within myself about the legality and the ethics of what we were really doing. Um, however, uh, you can let that fuck you up. I mean, I, I know someone, uh, just being honest here, one of my friends... He got laid off work uh, due to COVID, and dude, he let that control his whole life. Like, he didn't have any money, his car broke down, and that sucks not having a car, and it sucks not having that much money. But he let that fuck his whole life up for, from, I'm going to say March until June, 
So three months just about it, and he let it fuck his life up. Four months, actually. So really step back, and what could you have controlled out of that? Maybe it happened for a reason. Maybe, maybe, uh, let's just say maybe you got laid off from that job because you were supposed to find a better job. Let's say that you got laid off from that job because you were supposed to find yourself throughout this. Let's say that your mom got cancer so you could spend more time with her and actually enjoy life with her you know like everything happens for a reason and i'm a firm believer in that everything happens for a reason one door closes the next opens there's doors every fucking where you just got to be smart enough to walk through the door so what i'm saying is all this shit's crazy and don't let it control your life don't let it bother you don't let it don't let it fuck your whole day up now is there going to be a time it it's took me very it took me a very long time to get to the point where I don't let things bother me anymore. And if I would be lying to you, though, if I said that some things don't bother me every now and again, like little things that shouldn't bother me, I'll catch myself getting annoyed by it, and I'm like, just stop, like, just breathe and stop. It's not worth it. Uh, but it only lasts for like 10, 20 seconds. Before, I'd let that shit bother me for a couple hours, and I'd go and tell everyone around me that cared to listen about how fucking stupid it was. Now I'm just like, well, these people are arguing over masks. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I need to say something. Nah, fuck it. Not worth my time. Then I'll see people arguing over heaven and hell, and I'll be like, they don't realize they're in heaven. I should tell them. And I'm like, nah, it ain't worth your fucking time. Then I'll, <laughs> then I'll see people arguing over Democrat or Republican, and I'm like, you're both fucking stupid. Nah, it ain't worth my time. Then I'll see people arguing over... I'm in a few spiritual groups, and this is what cracks me up the most, man. These people are so fucking far out there. Like, I think they might be in early stages of awakening because you you have to think outside of the box to start waking up but some of the shit they say is just like what are you fucking talking about do you understand how ridiculous you sound like and i don't judge anyone because i think everyone's on their own journey and you make reality what you want to make it i mean fuck but they'll sit here and argue about uh if God's real or not real, if Christ is real or not real, if, if Jesus was real or not real, if the devil's real or not real, they'll argue about how many times they've been to earth, how many times they've reincarnated here. They'll argue about um they'll argue about all these star seeds. They'll argue if you should eat meat or shouldn't eat meat. Uh they'll argue <laughs> And I'm just sitting here like, dude, you guys are fucking crazy. For a group of people that claim to be open minded and, and caring and awake, you guys are fucking asleep. Like, how, there's different degrees to being awake. Like, you can be awake to where you're like, man, there's something going on here. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but something's up. Well, you're starting to wake up. And then there can be a degree to where, you know, you realize God's real. There can be a degree to where you realize this place is not as real as you think it can be. And then you can be wide the fuck awake to realize, hey, I'm in heaven. Uh, I'm one with everything. Because that's the game of God. That's the game of eternity. And I don't know if you can be more awake than that. I for sure the fuck haven't got there yet. So if, if you can be more awake than this, then fuck. I'd like to see it. But the thing is, even other people that claim to be awake, and you think they're awake, and you talk to them, and you're like, yeah, you know what you're talking about. Like, you get it. They'll say, some, they'll say or do something dumb, and you just sit back and are like, You get you're in heaven, though. Why are you making this convoluted for? Like, why are you stressing out and worrying over shit for? You're in, you're, you're in heaven. Like, and they'll, they will make you think they understand this is the fucked up part about it. They'll talk to you and you think they get it. And then they say something and you're like, wait a minute. So again, don't let anything outside of you control you. You can only control what's inside, and how can you do that? You can do that through, again, I'm going to list off five, six different things here to get you started. Psychedelics, you need psychedelics. No way around them, you need psychedelics. You need yoga, you need meditation. You need to eat semi-healthy. I'm not telling you not to eat meat. Eat lean meat, though. Um, you need to go out in nature. You need to... You need to question things. I mean, uh, I don't know if you notice, most people don't question things. They just go along with uh, with everything else. They don't take the time or energy to look it up, study it, think about it, contemplate it, but they will defend it to the death, and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. That's, I think that's really what pushed me over the edge of just not communicating with that many people. Well, let me rephrase that. I'll talk to anyone that wants to talk to me. 
But when it comes to debating someone or trying to push my belief upon them or them, I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. Man. You think whatever you want to think. We're in goddamn heaven. Like, we're in heaven. I'm not wasting my energy on this shit anymore. And that's why I've kind of gave up. Uh, I was pushing this, don't wear a mask, because you're fucking stupid if you wear a mask. you have, And if any job tells you you have to wear a mask to work there, don't work there. Kind of gave up that to a degree. I kind of gave up the whole atheist, hardcore religious thing to a degree, because it's like, it don't matter what the fuck you believe or don't believe. You're still in heaven, and you're still fucking God. Just shut up. You're gonna, when you think you die, whenever you die... You're gonna be in for the. You're gonna be in for a hell of a shock when you wake up and realize what the fuck just happened. You got handed life in front of you, and you were too fucking stupid and egotistical and close-minded to let it play out in your own head to realize. Oh wait, wait. I'm conscious. God settled within consciousness, and there's no way that God would waste his time with anything other than heaven. Oh fuck. Well, piss my life away. So I'm not going to argue with people. I mean, live your life, but... Think about this before I go, because I'm going to go... I've really just talked in circles, and uh, didn't really get a good point out here, other than just talking. Uh, really contemplate the things I'm telling you. Would you feel better or worse if I'm telling you the truth or lying to you? If you know I'm telling you the truth, you can find this shit out for yourself. You don't have to just believe me. But let's just say you believe me. And you're like, well, you know, Blake makes sense. Let, let's, let me play it out for a month. So play it out for a month. The next month of your life, act like you were God. Act like you're conscious. And that God's held within consciousness. Act like you're one with everything else. Act like the your neighbors and your and your family and your friends and people you don't even like really are you. So treat people the way you'd want to be treated. See how it plays out. Treat this place like it's heaven. See how it plays out. Don't get worked up over stupid shit. See how it plays out. Now, if you accept this and you do this for a month, one month, 30 days, 30 days ain't shit. Come back here in 30 days and tell me how it worked out for you. Love you guys. And uh, again, I'm just you talking to you.